Hey there, everybody. How you doing? I am Francis, and welcome back to Course Party Blood Drive. Last episode, we went through Extra Chapter 7, which was uh, Satsuki's story, which basically told us uh, everything about Satsuki and why she was able to turn into a monster. And apparently, that was not the last chapter. Apparently, there was an extra, uh, extra chapter that you'll unlock when you play all the other extra chapters, so... We're going to be finishing this up today with uh, the final extra chapter. Let's go do this. Reignition. Okay then. Oh, it's a continuation of uh, extra chapter 7. Okay. After Ayumi Shinozaki sailed away to Nirvana, those who lost their lives at Heavenly Host Elementary were able to exist in this world once again. Ah, uh, so this is uh, after uh, the... Like the main story of Blood Drive. Okay. But the dead can never truly be brought back to life. The entity walls and the nirvana may be gone, but they left massive chasms in the earth and countless casualties in their wake. Plus, according to Satoshi Mishida, Kuan Niwa and all the students who took the place of his formerly existence as friends in this world have now been erased in their steed. Ah, uh, okay, so since we're in a normal timeline now, uh, the people that were placed are, are dead friends, uh, they, they don't exist anymore because they don't exist in the, you know, this timeline, like the normal timeline. And that was something I was gonna wonder anyways if, uh, Miss Kuan survived is, uh, how would that work if, uh, two people lived in, like, the, you know, in, like, a timeline where they're both, uh, you know, they're both supposed to be there. That would cause uh, some confusion and basically break, you know, everything. So I guess even if uh, Miss Kuan survived, she still wouldn't, uh, she still wouldn't exist anymore because of that. Okay, well that answers a few questions I had. Though Kuan Niwa's existence isn't entirely gone, she still somehow exists in memory as Aiko Niwa's sister. And while they don't exactly remember how or why this came to be, Perfect Life is now short one CEO and has fallen into total chaos trying to find and train a replacement. We are shamans. We have witnessed the entirety of history. When Queen Himeno fell from the Yamatai Koko, we were there. When the wall fell during the Eastern European Revolution, we were there. Also, what is uh, Megari doing with the Martubas again? Like, I thought she was... You know, she was done with them. Especially considering the fact that she failed her mission. She did not come back with the Book of Shadows. We have been resurrected time and again. Standing proud as the eras shift. We, and we alone, have moved this world. Praise for re-resurrect here again. A pleasing omen of the Earth's newest impending shift. Unguandan souls, thou hast failed on thy past life. And must now bear witness to our revolution. Oh, this is our gospel. Behold, the child. Last night, a miracle was born unto our order. The mother be not known, but a birth at such an age. Tis surely the second coming of God. This child has the potential. This child shall one day grow to be our successor. Let us all praise this child. Is this child, uh, Satsuki? Oh. Once the cleanup efforts for the Nirvana incident had more or less become old news, I decided to pay the order a visit and see what was up. Okay, that explains it. Like, I was wondering what, uh, Megari was doing with, the uh, Martuba still when she, you know, she promised that she was, uh, done with them. Mostly because, well, they went uh, behind our back and sent people to do her mission anyways. So I was wondering what she was doing here. Thank you very much, Megari, for clearing up my questions. Damn, this place sure went south. It's been forever since I last came here, but look at this place. Damage everywhere, holes in the walls and floors. A neglected flag slanted on its pole. A mess all around. Everywhere you look, a mess. Mistress Megari, I'm pleased you come back to us safely. One of the few remaining members, and there were so many before. I wonder where they all disappeared to. Y you were there in the Nirvana. I think you know where they disappeared to. 
Not that I should have ever trusted them to keep their shit together in the first place. When the apocalypse came knocking, I was kind of mad myself for being surprised at all. Don't know who this person is, but he's looking at me. Kind of nervously. Where's the founder? Well... When one of several entity walls floated near the Order's HQ, our founder apparently panicked and fell down the stairs and died. Oh. Well, shit. <laughs> so is the reason there are so few members now because everybody died? Uh, mostly there were several others who ran away in fear as well. Even among the elites? I'm afraid so. <laughs> I turned around and walked out of the room. Oh boy, the Martubas really went to hell without Megari. <laughs> they weren't prepared for the end of the world either. I mean, who was though, in all honesty? The springs creaked and groaned as I tossed the boat in my bed. What was the point of devoting my life to the Martubas? Y you know, you ask a good question, Megari. What was the point? All the shit I did? But um. The whole purpose behind my existence, but um, was all for nothing. I slammed the bed repeatedly with my fist, and the springs rocked back and forth vigorously. This whole time, I'd done everything on my own. Ever since I was abandoned, and when Waldo took me in, I thought I finally found my reason to live. I got where I am today by never losing to anyone, but now. There's no one left. They're all gone. My eyes were red and I was out of breath. As I threw my tantrum, a familiar figure stepped in through my bedroom door carrying a tray. Is it Waddle again? Yep, it's Waddle. Welcome back, madam. I brought you some milk tea. Yeah! I got up and threw myself at Waddle with every last bit of force my muscles could push. Instantly, I was falling. <laughs> Madam? Waddle was old and wise. He was my rock in all of this. Waddle, I want you to promise me something. Don't you ever, ever leave me. You got that? Of course. He smiled at me. This order needs to be rebuilt. And I'm going to be the one to rebuild it. I'm going to make it better than ever. Come on, we got a lot of work to do. Uh, but of course, madam. Ah, so the Martubas will rise once again, but this time better because they're under the rule of Megari. Alright, well, there we go. That's uh, extra chapter 8. Let's see if there's an another one. I doubt there is, but we'll see. No, there's no other extra chapters. That's, uh... That's 38. Eight extra chapters and ten uh, chapters of the main story. And there ain't really much for us to go through together uh, in the bonus. So that is the end of Quartz Party Blood Drive. Thank you so much everybody for joining me in this adventure. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. And we're not done with uh, Quartz Party yet. There's actually one more uh, Quartz Party game that I have. And we'll be playing that next. So stay tuned until then. But until then, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye, everybody.